Here's another one of those tips you might not be familiar with. If you build any type of a stairway that is going to be enclosed or an enclosed area underneath the stairway, you need ventilation. And that's actually what these holes are here for. They provide you with a little uh, ventilation, little air can circulate through there. I would imagine it has holes on the other side. Um, but you do need ventilation. If, especially if you're going to build something with decking where debris and moisture can uh, fall in between the uh, deck boards. And don't forget, even if it's a tight surface, you can still get moisture in these areas. You can actually get moisture through the vent holes. And that's kind of, uh, that's a debatable issue. A lot of people are like, no, I'm not putting these uh, in. That's fine. Um, I recommend putting them in, but you can uh, do it at your own discretion. Air flowing through these areas, even if it does have moisture in it, usually provides you with a, a place where the moisture can go when the air dries out. If you live in an area where it's um, wet all the time, then it probably would be a better idea to just leave this whole area open don't put anything on it. That way you could actually see if there's any damage or paint the wood, paint the materials underneath the deck um, or the landing here. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. If you are going to build an enclosed stairway on the outside of a building, then it wouldn't be a bad idea to provide yourself with some type of ventilation um, uh, air access to where the air can go through there. If you just seal this area up and it uh, ends up trapping moisture in there, it will rot all of the wood framing. I shouldn't say will. There are no guarantees, period. But there is a good chance that if enough moisture gets in, in there and there is not enough airflow, enough air circulating. So you can actually drill holes on one side, but if you don't have holes on the other side or on the back of this stairway, let's say. Let's say when they built this, there's a place probably for air in between the bricks and the stairway. So all the air here is eventually going to come out in this area next to the stairway, on the side of the stairway. I doubt if they built it tight up against the house. But you do need some type of a cross flow. Keep that in mind. It's going to be better if you have cross flow. If you just drill some holes in here, the air could actually circulate from this hole and come out of this hole or, or, or vice versa. It could actually go in here and come out over here, but it's not going to be going through the entire area. So it's always nice to have some, even these foundation vents, they go from one side of the house to the other side of the house. If you just put them in on one side, there's a good chance that the air is just going to go in one and out the other, and it's not going to go through the entire house. Don't forget to check out our bargain stair building book packages at stairsforyou.com. I've went ahead and put together quite a few different packages, combo books to save you some money. So what are you waiting for? Get over there and check them out.